You can take a surface like what we have here on the screen, which is a surface by network. You can see the curves that are used to generate that surface. And what I like to do is to put a hole in it and also lop off one of the corners. So I'm going to use the trim command right up here. And to do that, what I want to do is set the working plane so that I can move, put my geometry, cutting geometry on that plane. So let's go ahead and say I'm going to go to the home position. And I'm going to move the coordinate system, the origin, out to here. And I'm going to rotate it around the y-axis because I want to work on this plane right here. And to do that, I have to rotate it around. So I'll rotate the y-axis 90 degrees. And now when I do that, you can clearly see that there's the plane I'm going to be working on. So I'll be looking face on to that surface. Let's go ahead and make a couple changes here. We're going to go to a parallel projection. And I'll hit the hot spot there on the cube for top. Pan over. And let's create our geometry now. I'm going to come over and make sure I've got my profile set up. When I do, that layer is set to yellow. So let's go ahead and use that current layer. I'm going to first of all, put a circle right here in space. Like that. I'm going to put a curve or an arc right across the top like this to make a gentle break on that corner. I want to make that, that effect on there. So let's use the trim command under surface. Under edit we'll choose trim and we're going to choose the surface we want to pick, we want to trim which is this one right here and hit the enter key. Pick the cutting surface right here. Circle, that's right, circle enter, area to trim, punch a hole right there, and hit the return key. Let's try it one more time. This time we use trim, pick the surface, the enter key, pick the line, in this case the arc that's going to trim, hit the enter key one more time, and then come back and point to what I want to remove, which is that section right there, and hit the enter key. I'm going to come over to my layer management, make my surface current, Turn off my profiles. And when I come back, let's turn off the, the curves also. We don't need to see those, the splines. And see what we have. And there it is. There's the modification of the surface. I'm going to return back to the, per, the perspective projection and also single click on here. WCS goes back and now I've got my orientation so where I have it. And there's my surface that's been created using that option to trim the surface, that command that uses the trim, and I put a hole right in that surface right there, and also lopped off that corner. Is your e-learning merely text-based? Does your hands-on learning mean just hitting the next button? Is your multimedia learning limited to only text and graphics? Does your learning video take up the whole screen, forcing you to memorize what you've already seen before you actually try it? SoftTutor changes all that. Now you can really learn by doing from a single screen in real time. SoftTutor is revolutionizing e-learning.